imagine a machine with a full range of human emotion, its analytical power will be greater than the collective intelligence of every person in the history of the world. When the movie ended, I was like, oh, yeah. they're not telling me what to That's think. Right. That's I have right. to go home and discuss this and, now. And I think that, and this, the movie, I hope, would reflect this is the ambiguity and is certainly is that is that is that trying to decide for yourself whether we're seeing the benefits of technology or whether we're being scared by this technology we lost decades of research and development are you addicted to technology at all like would you be sad if the internet disappeared no no i would not be sad if the internet disappeared i would be sad if i didn't have my computer okay because then i'd have to use a deck of cards to play solitaire Ooh. Well, this movie opens in a post-apocalyptic world where there's no internet. Yeah. Would you be sad if the internet were gone? I think I might be the last generation that rem just about remembers what it was like before the internet. Yes, I believe that we are of that same yeah, generation. Yeah, yeah. I think that makes it a little bit easier. Would you be sad if the internet were gone? Yeah. Wouldn't you be sad? I don't know. I would it, be. Oh my god. I can't feel anything. I'm here. Johnny Depp's character puts his consciousness into an already existing machine, but I was thinking about what if your existence would determine the look of the machine? So I have some suggestions and I wanted to know, where, where do you think your consciousness would end up? Would it be a Commodore 64? Mm. Remember these old school yes. guys? Okay, would it be more of an iMac? I see where you're going. Okay, would it be something like Pin Ooh, from the okay, film? Okay. Or would it be sad cartoony face smoking with the axes I, th I, th I think mine would be um, the ZX Spectrum, which was the, which was one of the first computers I think that were, that were they, they were like this big and you could, you could, you know, just program, you know, and make oh. a little, little game on them. <laughs> It was like the most modern thing I could conceive of, of at the time. I just thought this is the future. Uh, is this weird that I connect most with the last one and the first one? <laughs> <laughs> no, what? it's not at all. What's your reasoning behind that? Just like not that. I the other ones are too shiny and like mm -hmm. put together and I, tech savvy. I'm not. Definitely the that one. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just like it. <laughs> No, I mean, that whole bank of shit there now. <laughs> <laughs> you're Morgan Freeman. You're a bank of stuff. <laughs> What's the weirdest thing that you Google? Enzymes. Ooh. My wife was Googling goats last night, so, you know, you Google everything. I'm doing a lot of research on, um, on uh, neo-fascism at the moment on my computer, so I think wow. that... Wow. That's my, my, heavy. Yeah, my computer might look a little odd if anybody was to. <laughs> Probably the most embarrassing thing to search is yourself, right? <laughs> right, yeah. They're like, look how many times she like Googled herself this week. <laughs>